Thybird was was ordered to pay three hundred and seventy six thousand dollars for a for what it's called a fee shifting statute, um, when or an anti slap law, but an anti slap is a type of a fee shifting statute. Basically, when Ty Beard uh, went gung ho and filed in state court uh, for defamation in Texas, which is a very pro pro corporation state, which has a lot of safeguards for companies, um, they didn't for various reasons. Uh, it's a combination of a lawyer not doing due diligence, the judge being very hostile. Um, it is true that Ty Beard fucked up, but the judge in this case was like out for blood. They, he did not want to deal with the defamation case. Uh, so the judge was really, really cruel, um, to the plaintiff in this. And it was, it was so cruel actually that I actually had Hardin look into this. I said, I say Hardin cause I want to, it just makes more sense. His name is just Hardin, which sounds like it would have an E in it and not an I, but uh, Hardin looked into it and he said that after this case, the state of Texas actually amended their anti-slap law to be less hard and require less proof to get passed specifically, apparently specifically because of the uh, Vic Mignogna case. But yeah, his life got completely fucked up because of this bullshit. And uh, Ty Beard is now in hiding. I think he moved to, I think I saw him at the bar when I was out over there at the bar in Belgrade and I was hanging out with uh, Tupac and Hitler and Epstein, I think I, there was a new guy there, and I swear he looks so much like Ty Beard. I was like, what's he doing out in Belgrade? Why is he out in Serbia? I don't know. It could, it could have been mistaken. There's lots of fat guys with beards, but I swear to God it was Ty Beard. <laughs> and Elvis. Yeah, that's right. Elvis doesn't come too much anymore. He's old.